ye shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory hey, hey. to God in the highest. Hallelujah. And on earth, peace, goodwill toward all men. May God bless you Amen. and add a reading and add a blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. You may be seated in this place. How I love them. Huh? This is the most significant time of life where we, as the human race, get to reflect on the birth of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. His supernatural birth does not bring us something that we can buy, nor can we do anything right to earn it. It's because of his grace and his mercy. His supernatural birth does not, and I repeat, does not bring something that we can buy. Jesus is divine being. He is God-man. He came to earth so that all who believed in him and that we could be children of God and have an advocate with the Father, my Lord. He's now our Savior and friend. We can now have life more abundant and to mention eternal life because of him. The flesh may go down to the grave, but because of him, our spirit shall live forever. My God, what a God we serve. Our God positioned himself <coughs> as Emmanuel, God with us. He was designated by God to be the word, which is the Logos. Word, life, and light, as he is surely born the Son of God. Jesus is the expression of God who was in the beginning and was God. <laughs> in relation to us, he is our life and our light. From him radiates all, um, I'm sorry, illumination, both intellectual and spiritual. The light and light go together. Remember that. As the word, he, Jesus, is the expresser, the revealer, and illuminator. He is whom we call the light. Ah. But the Lord God is in our midst today. Yeah. A mighty one who will save. Ah, he will rejoice over you with gladness. He will quiet you with his love. He will exalt over you with loud singing. He is indeed the savior of the world. My God, born in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes, he was low just for us. Just for us. So how can we deny the power and the will of the living Father? Surely as we breathe day in and day out, he is the giver of life. He is our all in all. We are his children. My God. He is indeed the Savior of the world. I just want you to know that the King has arrived. 
I'm right now. I'm right now. <laughs> Come on, clap on that. Give him praise. Give him honor. Say the king has the right. Do you know it today? Can you feel it in your spirit today? Have you been delivered? Ah, that was not a trick question. Ah, my God. He has all power in his hands. Yes, he does. But nevertheless, he came to serve and to give his life as a ransom. Oh my God. But we'll conclude on that another day. He posed the question, and I quote, do you think I came to bring peace on earth? We're going to go back and forth with the birth. We're going to go back and forth. Do you think that I came to bring peace on earth? Yes. yes. His peace surpasses all understanding for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The kingdom of heaven is here. The veil has been rend from the very first day of his birth. The only day of his birth. See, we know when he died on the cross that the veil was rend. But it's just me. I believe that when he was born, that veil was rend. Yeah. 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 My God. And that means it was just split right down the middle. We no longer had, had to have the priests uh, to go into the tabernacle. Uh, we no longer had to have animal blood sacrifice. All because of the king. He has arrived. Let us know that he is here. Ah, not only did he position himself, he is the provider of our souls. Jesus came because we were morally broken. Not because of money, houses, or cars, but because our souls, our spirits were morally broken. And as quiet as it's kept, some of us still have broken spirits. Hey, but we got to know how to take it to the throne of grace. We got to realize that the king has already arrived. Let me speed it up because we'll be here. I love the king. I love the king. See, but because of our spiritual brokenness, he came to mend us. Back together. Yeah. As the provider that came to nurture us and give us food that can't be grown from the ground. Uh -huh. Food that can't be grown from the ground. My God. But to feed us of himself, which is the bread of life. Yeah. He's our bread. Yeah, Jesus. He's even our water. He's everything we wanted. But you gotta know him. You gotta know him. And I love it because it doesn't take a whole lot to get to know him. All you got to do is call his name and say, I love you and accept you as my king. My God. He came to provide to provide everlasting life and to vindicate us with the blood sacrifice. Yet, his peace surpasses all understanding. For the kingdom of heaven is truly here. He is the provider of our souls. Jesus came before we, for us, because we were morally broken. My God. The provider that came to nurture and to be with us. He came to provide everything.
everlasting life and to vindicate us forever. But oh, <laughs> he's my king and my God. You are, he said. I said to him, you are my spiritual renewal, my spiritual nourishment. He is our God and we have access to him because we can celebrate his life. Come on, get excited about it. Get excited. He is the Christ, our living bread. He is the one that will take away the spots and the wrinkles. Look, he's a healer. Yes. He's a deliverer. Yeah. He's a provider. Yeah. He's everything that we could ever want him to be. Yeah. My God from Zion, he will part the Red Sea just for us to live. Uh -huh. yeah. He's everything. Yeah. He is the one who will mold us and make us. And God in him, I do trust. I trust him to do everything for me, uh, from the little things to the big things. Uh, because if it had not been for this day, uh, anything that is going to make it uh, has to be birthed. Uh, even your situation, uh, when you want a good job, uh, when you want a home, uh, when you want a child, no matter what it is, everything got to be birthed. Uh, Uh, mm, mm, mm. I just want to 
I live this name up. I just wanna say thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for being born of a virgin woman. Thank you, Lord God. That means that everything that I need shall come in the way of Jesus Christ. One. It's got to be somebody uh, who has heard the word of God. And if you don't know it, uh, you want to know it. Uh, you got to know it. Uh, I tell you, you don't know uh, what you've been missing. Amen. You think you got problems? But I tell you one thing, I double D, triple D dare you uh, to come to Christ. Uh, who is your Lord and Savior? Uh, and give your situation to Him. Uh, because, see, you think that you can't make it now. But if you don't have Him, you can't make it at all. So, I'm going to open up the door and something changes out like that. And I'm going to say, is there one yes, there who one. don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And you want a personal relationship with him? Come on to the altar. Give yourself to Jesus. For this is the day that he is made. You got to rejoice and be glad there is. He's a knocking at your door. He's a knocking at your door. And he says, all you got to do is come. You'll never regret it. You'll never be sorry. 